Hey, good morning. It's Betty, and I finally got my diodes in to fix my problem with my LED turn signals. When I turn on the either side, they both, they all four flash. Also, the little indicator light is not coming on. I searched through a lot of stuff on the internet, videos, and just forums, everything I could find on this problem so I could understand how to solve it. And they explained that these little uh, 50 volt, one amp diodes is what you need to fix the problem. You would take two of these and as you see, they have like uh, wires on both sides. So you take two and twist them together on one side and leave the other two sides out and then just uh, hook a little piece of wire to each of those that you would connect the wiring in here. Let me show you what it looks like when it's done. This, uh, my husband ordered me that diode kit, but he also ordered me one of these so I didn't have to make it myself. But it basically is just two of those little diodes in here. It's twisted together on one side and a wire soldered up through here and then each of the legs with wiring on there so this is the complete assembly and this is what you would need to fix the problem i looked through my uh, owner's manual to see the wiring diagram and i found that the light green and the black wire were the one that was coming from the indicator light. It's kind of like a, the diode works like a valve and it only keeps the electric current from flowing. It keeps it from, it keeps it to flow only one way. It doesn't back feed. And that's what the LED lights have a problem with compared to the incandescent bulbs is it, they flow both ways. And well, from what I understand, the LEDs have used so little power that it kind of slips through the cracks and it goes from the LED light up to the blinker, to the indicator light. And then it just continues to flow to the other side. And that's where on regular incandescent bulbs, it would go to here and it would stop until you switched over and then it would flip the other one and the light would come on. But with the LEDs, it just continues to flow through both of them and makes both circuits uh, have power at the same time. And so all the lights light up. So what we're going to do with this little contraption here is to keep that electricity from flowing past the indicator light on the dash here. So that's why we found these two wires that go to the indicator bulb on the dash. We're going to install this in line and that should solve our problem. Now we'll see, look, see if I can get you a good view of what's going on here. And these two are the wires that we are looking for. And those are what I'm going to cut. It says that it doesn't matter which one, like one's not really a negative and positive. They both flow, but because this one's black, I'm going to use it for the negative. And this uh, green one I'll use for the positive. I'll cut both of these and install this onto, uh, we'll wire it right into the green. And then on this other side, we will continue it with the other side of the green that I cut and onto the black. And then this other end of the black will just, you know, if I cut this, there's two wires sticking out. This one will be fused into that device and then there'll be a wire here and so I'll just t hook this wire to there and then ground it someplace in here that has a that has a ground that's a black and white um, wire with a black a black wire with a white stripe so I'll just fit it in there and that should complete the circuit and the light should work after that and I'm using these little uh, heat shrink solder joints that I have they have heat shrink and then that's a little piece of solder in the middle. So I will just slip it in here like that. And then 
and then put the, the wire in here and then melt it together. Sorry, it's kind of hard to get in here to cut these wires with the camera in front of me. So I'll let you, as soon as I get this stripped, I'll try to get you as good a view as possible. Complete the circuit. And so I know I feel like I should really make sure that this is gonna work before I solder these. I wonder if that connection is good enough where I can just have them. Yeah, I don't think those are really going to be connecting good enough, but let me see here. Let me just find a ground I can connect this to. And just slide it in the little plastic case with with another ground and then I'll just hold this on here probably not a good enough connection to make it work but let's see that one's not on this one's on That one's on, and this is not. It works. Let me make sure everything else works. Mm-hmm. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let me just finish soldering these real quick and we'll be done. It's funny, I can, it's melting the solder so I'm actually soldering it. <laughs> I think I just need to do these one at a time. I like these because they're clear so you could see exactly where. where your wires are.
No, that's, whew, that's a good thing. You would not believe how long I sat up thinking about how. I mean, I went through every wiring combination trying to figure that out. But now I got, since I cut my wires, since I redid the wires uh, to the to the lights, thinking that I had to hook this little assembly up somewhere in, in there, I need to just resolder all these. I just have them taped up for now. And so I'll just put some more of those little connections on that there and and button it all up and we'll, we'll be good to go. So yes, awesome. It's called a bike metric diode kit and it's all already made together. You can make it with the diodes if you want. You know, it's it's just a simple. I mean, you saw how easy it was to solder those wires. If you have a soldered iron, it'd be the same. You know, just hook, twist two together, and one wire coming out this way, two wires coming out. That way it keeps the flow from going in, but not back out. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad that worked. And less stress. These LEDs, electric problems are not my forte. And so they cause me to have to think a lot, but then I tell myself, you know, thinking's good. What better way to do it than with electricity? <laughs> no. <laughs> what do these two wires do? Nah, you don't get zapped. I used to be nervous about touching batteries. I won't touch one when the car is running. I'm still nervous about that. But this, no problem. This was helpful and beneficial to somebody who maybe had the same problem and was searching on the internet or YouTube for a problem and they came across my site and yeah, came across my channel and I helped you solve the problem. That would be awesome because that's what, that's what my whole, that's why I started this channel. And I'm glad that I'm able to do that. So I'm thankful for all of you for watching my channel. I, I hope it helps somebody and y'all have a wonderful day. If you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you do so and take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>